Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapper and Chronicles. Today we're coming back at you with this set of magnetic parts trays. And these are from Tractor Supply. But before we jump into the video, if you find these videos helpful or entertaining, could you please give me a like and also subscribe to this channel. Okay, so I was at Tractor Supply and I guess when you walk in, they have like bins of uh, just random stuff that you can pick up. Uh, I think you, mostly stuff for like under ten dollars. And they had this parts tray, magnetic parts tray set. So I was like, hmm. And what do we need most at Snapper and Chronicles? We need magnetic parts trays because we're always taking apart these little. Uh, these tools you know like uh, ratchets and etc and we need parts trays to uh, keep all these parts from disappearing so I saw this set and I was like hmm looks pretty good it's seven piece and I guess this is the symbol for tractor supply and it says holds loose metal parts and small tools Okay, this is what it looks like. It's uh, six, six small ones, and it looks like one big pan tray. Okay, on the bag it says holds loose metal parts and small tools magnetically attaches to any flat iron or steel surface. Durable steel construction with rust resistant finish. And here's the size of the top one is the big tray and the size for the six little trays and where are these made and we see right here at the bottom it says made in china distributed by tractor supply company and i guess that's wait a second it's the same size chart here that they have here hmm but okay so let's open this package up and see what we got here are the small trays Okay, so here are your six small trays, and they have like this styrofoam holder here. Just toss that, and here it has some cardboard, I guess, to keep it from scratching. All those little trays piled up, and here is the big tray. Actually, I, I got this mostly for this big tray because uh, I don't have a, a tray this big. What I usually I have a bunch of these Pittsburgh uh, tool trays that you find at uh, Harbor Freight, and you used to be able to get these on sale with coupon for like a dollar or sometimes sixty cents or eighty cents. But I guess those days are gone. I saw this the other day for like three bucks at Harbor Freight. So I miss those Harbor Freight coupons. Okay, here are the trays. This is the little trays. And they have like a little piece of cardboard in between them. And I'll put this stack over here. Okay, uh, right off the bat, I, I kind of feel like these are thin, like compared, I don't know, kind of compared to these Pittsburgh Harbor Freight ones, these seem a bit thicker, they seem, the metal seems a, a bit more substantial, this, this seems a little thin, 
Hmm. But you know, uh, for little parts, this this can come in handy too. But I'm not sure uh, what the thickness of the metal is. Let me see this. This feels a little bit. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. <coughs> This one feels a little bit better. This one feels a little bit thicker and heavier. It has two magnets. Two big magnets on the bottom. And you can see the shape here. So they did a pretty good job with this one. But these little ones are kind of like... Mm, maybe not the greatest as far as the metal just the thickness of them they, they kind of feel light not like not like a tin pan but you know like those aluminum tin pans but kind of kind of a little bit light I don't know let me see if I can find some stuff to throw in here uh, there's uh, some parts some random parts here Okay. Just some random, uh, like small parts, screws, uh, a pole from a, a what do you call it? A craftsman ratchet. Let me see. No, they, these small parts stick pretty good, so. Not, not too bad overall. Uh, I'll put these parts over here. Let's see if they... Uh, I'm sure this one's a lot... With the two big magnets, you shouldn't have a problem. Yeah. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Yeah, you shouldn't have a problem with this one. Either. So the magnets seem like they're decent. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if... Let me see if I can find something a little heavier. Here's a... There's like a... A half inch to three eighths adapter. That seems like it holds pretty good. Uh, what else? Let me see. Oh, it should be hold. It should hold this pretty good. I'll put a a Craftsman ratchet in there. Yeah, that one holds pretty good. So, all in all. These are not too bad to hold on them, so especially this one, as I said, I wanted to get uh, this nice big one because, you know, I don't have a big tray. Like, I think I have these and the one size bigger, maybe it's about an inch bigger than this or two inches, and that's about as big as I have, so I wanted to check out one of these nice big, big trays. And these also, these also come in handy. Especially for like little parts like that, for like a, a ratchet or whatever, you know, so So I guess uh, I'm happy with this. Oh, this was uh, This was ten dollars nine ninety nine at uh, Tractor supply so if, you know, I think that's not too bad for seven trays and uh, Including a big one so I don't know you see one you go to track the supply pick it up okay guys until next time